Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims Lore. Today, we're looking at Juan Derer and the creepy circumstances in which his family member died. Don't forget to subscribe and like this if you enjoyed it. Alright, let's get into the video. Let's first have a look at Juan Derer. If you've seen my last video on the Twinbrook Mysterious Deaths, which I'll have linked down below, you'll know that a lot of Sims in this neighborhood have name puns. And Juan Derer's name is definitely a pun on the word wanderer. Let's have a closer look at him. Juan is an elder, retired Sim who lives in a barn in Twinbrook on 27 Herring Ranch Road, right next to what looks like the remains of his house. His household bio reads, Juan Derer is a man of many mysteries and talents. After losing his house to a fire that may or may not have been caused by one of his many inventions, Juan decided to move into the barn next to the remains of his house. If he's not rummaging through one of the town's junkyards, you'll find him here working on his next crazy piece of art. His bio reads, Juan loves the simple things in life, like his artwork. He'll be the first to tell you his way of life is a little different, but he didn't have to tell you that for you to know it, right? Juan is a retired toddler sports coach in the professional sports career and has two skill points in athletic, six in inventing, four in painting, and one point in sculpting. He is BFFs with Harwood Clay and his ex-girlfriend is Millie Pigeon. His lifetime wish is to become a monster maker and he is insane, a kleptomaniac, inappropriate, handy, and neurotic. His favorites are soul music, cobbler, and the color pink. So let's have a quick look at his best friend, Harwood Clay. His household bio reads, after a rough upbringing with his parents who were rarely there for him, Harwood poured his troubles into art. At the age of 16, Harwood was named Child Prodigy by Sculptors Weekly, thus beginning an illustrious career of artwork. Now in his twilight years, Harwood is keeping a low profile in his humble lakeside abode. Will his neighbors ever find out who he actually is? Honestly, that household bio never fails to creep me out. What does it mean by will his neighbors ever find out who he actually is? Who is he really? Is he hiding something? We can only find this out by going around town and doing a bit of digging. Let's have a look at his bio and personality first. His bio reads, Artistic and charismatic, Clay has lived a life of great fame and fortune only to settle here for a much more modest retirement. How will he fit in with his new community? We can see again that there is a slight pun in Harwood's full name. Since he is a sculptor working with both wood and clay, his full name, Harwood Clay, is pretty fitting. So from both his household and personal bio, we know that Harwood is an accomplished artist who lives alone in Twinbrook in a humble lakeside home, which I definitely wouldn't call humble, his house is pretty swanky, but I think the bio is a tiny bit sarcastic and making fun of the fact that it's modest for him. Anyway, Harwood is artistic, a savvy sculptor, eco-friendly, perceptive, and charismatic. He has two skill points in charisma, seven in sculpture, five in guitar, and three in painting. His lifetime wish is to become the descendant of Da Vinci, and his favorites are indie music, Goopy Carbonara, and the color purple. Interestingly, when starting the game, Harwood is retired in the music career despite his skills, bio, and personality traits indicating that he was a successful sculptor. Okay, so what's so creepy about Harwood and Juan? The closest junkyard to Juan's house is Juan's pick and pull, which seems to allude to the fact that maybe Juan is the owner considering the name. When you visit Juan's pick and pull junkyard, you find a really strange thing buried next to the toilets. It's a gravestone, and when hovering over it, it reads Lacey Darer. So who is Lacey Darer? From her name, it's safe to assume she's Juan's relative. Many speculate that it's his ex-wife, but others say that it could be his sister, aunt, or even mother. What do you guys think? Who do you think she is to Juan? All we know about her death is that she's buried in Juan's pick and pull and she died by fire. 
Lacey's personality traits are eccentric, good, artistic, family-oriented, and perfectionist. She shares Juan's lifetime wish of becoming a monster maker and her favorites are indie music, fruit parfait, and the color gray. So why is Lacey buried in Juan's junkyard? Looking back at Juan's household and personal bio, we know that his home burned down and it was probably Juan's fault since he enjoys experimenting. If Lacey died in that house fire, why wouldn't she be buried at the house or in the Ivy Hill Cemetery? Why would he take her to his junkyard? Maybe because Juan had another accident in the junkyard and it just so happens that Lacey was also there. But somehow, I just don't believe that theory. Which brings me to Harwood Clay. What does he have to do with this, you ask? Well, because when you visit the Kleinesque laundromat in Twinbrook, behind the parking lot, there is a gravestone and hovering over it reads Macy Clay. Let's look at Macy Clay, potentially Harwood Clay's ex-wife. First off, she looks pretty much exactly like Lacey Darer. Just like Lacey, Macy also died in a fire and is mysteriously buried in a random location in Twinbrook. Macy's name is also similar to Lacey's and they're both family members of Juan and Harwood who are best friends forever. Macy is good, family-oriented, artistic, perceptive, and eccentric. Those are pretty much the same traits as Lacey's except for Lacey's perfectionist trait and Macy's perceptive trait. Her lifetime wish was to become a home design hotshot and her favorites are exactly the same as Lacey's. Honestly, this makes me think that they were absolutely sisters. And also twins. From reading Harwood's household bio, we know for sure he's hiding something, as the question posed, will his neighbors ever find out who he actually is, not only sends shiver down my spine, but makes me think that he had something to do with Macy or Lacey, or both these women's deaths. What do you guys think? Did Juan and Harwood kill their wives and bury them across Twinbrook? Do you think Lacey's death was just an accident? What's the connection between the laundromat, Harwood, and Macy? I'd love to know your theories in the comments down below. Another interesting thing I wanted to mention is that both Juan and Harwood have quite a lot of objects in their inventory. Harwood has his high school diploma, a guitar, which is definitely a reference to his retired career, an umbrella, a camera, which every sim gets in The Sims 3, and a book titled Do I Exist? Juan has the same objects except for the guitar and has a cane and a book titled Under Siege and Ogre Powered. I don't know why, but that made me think of a theory which is as follows. Harwood was really unhappy in his marriage to Macy, hence the book Do I Exist in his inventory, and because of their familial ties, befriended Juan anyway, quickly realizing he could make his wife disappear by making it look like one of Juan's accidents. However, this backfired and Juan's wife ended up being killed in the process as well. Is there more to this mystery that we don't know about? Do you think you guys could investigate more into it? I'd love to get your help in figuring out this mystery and also my last week's video about Dilemma. Let me know what you guys think of this theory, I'd love to know. Alright guys, there you have it. Lots of info on Juan, Harwood, Macy and Lacey. I'd like to thank my patrons Olivia McSwain, Negative Dana, and Papa Khan. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. That's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know your theories in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter for more lore and updates. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!